So what can you expect if you are buying the Artillery Sidewinder X2 with the unboxing, building and first print? Here are Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, this is Zachary and like mentioned in the intro, today we are going to look to the live stream that I did with the unboxing, build and first print on the Artillery Sidewinder X2. Well, in the end, I can already tell you that the cube wasn't showed, but as you can see, there is some other things that I printed on the Artillery Sidewinder and I do need to say that those are looking very amazing. Even Neo can confirm that. Well, more about that later. Cleaning we are going to do tomorrow or something. This is uh, for the filament spool holder, I guess. Some uh, V rollers. I think Volcano hot end nozzle. I see something like a ribbon cable. And also USB type B connector. This is for the filament spool holder. Okay, so. I keep the instruction manual close by this gantry and there is no extrusion in here just like the JG Maker Artist D. This is all plastic. Is it the first time that I'm going to see that they didn't ship any filament with a printer? That's really the first time. Yeah, and also a 2060 for the bed. So that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, wow. So the screws are held in place in a very specific way. So you don't have to wiggle everything in. So that is pretty nice. They are very confident that this glass bed will always be good. Always. But one of my concerns is what happens if something fell on it and your glass bed breaks? If it is a loose glass plate, you can remove it and just put another one on it. So in this case, you cannot replace it. So also here, a different kind of uh, switch, optical switch. It's very rigid. So the fasteners. So take the so that one is also loose. So here is one connector, but I don't see any wires. It's a, a mystery cable, but we will know uh, within a very short time. Time. Okay, so th this is going a little bit better. So also from the other side, I'm going to remove the tension. I'm not so super convinced about this. Home the printer. Shall we remove this too, perhaps? Uh, I found out that on the USB thumb drive, there's only an instruction manual, which I already have here. So add a printer. So another printer is going to be added to the list. Artillery X1, change it into X2. Well, we can also say SW X22. Then we are going to set the X and Y as 300. That is already there. The height 400. Yes, it's already there. Heated bed is checked. Yes. Copy and replace the content of the start G code TXT. Memory card, memory card, memory card. Oh, what? Chat, hello, memory card here? Well, I think the micro SD card has left the building. I don't know, but since we have an ABL and I have a little bit experience, G29, BL. I mean, what else can it be, right? Compatible material, diameter zero, uh, 1.75. I'm going to take the normal Benji. So maybe calibration cube. I'm not sure if, if somebody's waiting for a one hour and 30 minute print. 25 minutes. I think that's doable, right? Go back, print. This is weird. Everything's gonna be all right. Why the fluffs? So. 
This is going to be very interesting. Ah, I got something. But the question that I have, when it is so sensitive to do something in a specific order in order to work, then maybe this can happen some other times as well. So I hope that never happens or else the review is getting bad. So at an angle, it's, it's looking very white. I'm going to put this camera a little bit more down. The last thing that I did was pulling the SD card out and putting it back after I made the selection for it. Because the USB thumb drive isn't bad because I did do format and also the Mac is, is reading it, so it's, it's weird. He gets zip ties with, with, with this, but I don't understand why should I use zip ties because I find it pretty funny to get zip ties in something that you are eventually not going to need. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed, Fixin' Dude, Carl Fenton, Nate Williams, and YJ. Thank you for your support every single time. And also a little shout out to Magic M for subscribing to the YouTube channel and also answer to the question of mic to d2 this was asked on the Ethelson qqs pro the pure slicer and prusa slicer if you are using prusa slicer i will go for the standard settings with a machine that is already in the prusa slicer if you're using cura slicer the aim is to print at 235 or 240 degrees for your nozzle for the bed temperature something around the 80 for your bed and also also try to make sure that there is not too much air flowing around the print. Check also your retraction settings when it comes to Pet G. Pet G has the tendency to get, give you a little bit more stringing. So if you have that most of the time or too hot temperature or the retraction. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like, share with other people and on social media. I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye bye.